guys welcome and welcome back to my channel i'm back with a vlog and we have quite exciting stuff to do today of course the main thing today is book shopping i'm not even actually sure if i am gonna get some books probably am but this is just like a chill little relaxing book vlog so yeah really excited for that and but before that we have one thing to do i am getting glasses because when I was little, I used to wear glasses or I used to have reading glasses that I had to wear. But of course, me being me, I was a stubborn kid. I never did that. Surprisingly, my eyes got better. But now this year, I've been noticing that my eyes have been like not really focusing and seeing that well. Well, it's not like I can't see, but I can't see from far away. Got my eyes checked out like a month ago, three weeks ago. And they said that it is these problems. Um, so they prescripted some glasses for me those glasses i'm actually going to be wearing like full time like they are like the glasses that you wear for everything like reading seeing just basically just going to be have to be wearing glasses from now on so that's going to be exciting i at least to wear them but i also got to pick my own glasses and i'm really excited to show you guys which ones i got but right now i'm going to drop off my brother because he's going on some trip so yeah <laughs> I didn't know if I, I don't think I said it, but um, we're going to two different bookstores, I think. Uh, they're like the local ones. They aren't really bookstores. We don't really have them in Norway. Well, we do, but not where I live in this small town. We we more like have those shops, bookshops. But what I want to say is that I don't really have any books in mind. Only, well, I am trying to find two newest releases that I really want to get, which is Fourth Wing and Happy Place. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna find them here because I don't think they're out yet. And I do want the hardcover of Fourth Wing. They will most likely not have them. I have to order it, but we'll see how that goes. But we'll see what we find, what we get, what we don't get, what we do there. But this is just, just supposed to be like a little relaxing vlog. <laughs> They look amazing. I'll show you guys some later because we're going to the bookstore right now because it's like literally right there. So yeah, I'll show them later for I'm really excited and I think they're really good at Yeah, 
like look at these little characters aren't they cute i mean like oh my god i want this any like vlog or video on my channel where you don't see me eating sushi i swear to you i'm not eating sushi every day guys it's i feel like this should be like a tradition like every time i go book shopping i should like get sushi too i'm gonna go eat now yo hello let me just set up uh, and by the way this tripod has been the best outside as you see uh we have this cute little flower tree i'm in my garden by the way uh, it's time for the book haul guys the thing you've probably been waiting for the most and i'm sitting on this like um picnic thing picnic blanket just before i show you guys my books um i want to show you guys my glasses so i got two the ones you saw me wearing earlier were these ones really good it's been such a long time since I wore glasses. Then we have probably my favorite. Guys, I got Calmer's glasses. Look. So they look like this. It says Calmer's here on the side. Love that so much. Not bad. Not bad. I think I look decent. But then I also got this little bowl. Bowl. This is not a bowl. I got this little basket that you can just like open. Hold on. You can open it like this. I think I might have to get a few more, but like, I got this mainly because I need a place where I can keep my tabs at. These annotation things that you, that readers used two weeks ago. Um, I ordered these, the tabs that you put in your books. I love them. Like, look at all these different colors. Like, I can finally match my tabs with my covers. Like, an example of how I tab my books is, I just finished reading this one. Look putting them in here like this and they fit that's even better because I mean I'm planning on having so much more and currently um I'm currently redoing my room so now on to the books 
I love buying books. It's... Yeah. Five books. You have no idea how happy books make me. Like, so I went to two different bookstores. I only got one book at the first one, which is Love Theoretically by Ailey Hazelwood. Guys, this book, I think it only actually came out two weeks ago or a month ago, I'm not sure. But this is one of Ali Hazelwood's newest releases. Look at this. I love it. Like the cover. Oh, I actually own all of Ali Hazelwood's books. I have The Love Hypothesis and Love in the Brain. So yeah. And I'm so excited to read it. You know, Ali Hazelwood dropped a new book and I have to get it. Especially when everyone's also buying it right now. That means that everyone's going to be reading it. kind of want to like be in it so that I can read it when everyone else is reading it. So yeah, but this book is about, she's a theoretical psychist, some kind of professor. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at explaining these. Becoming a professor, I think, or something like that. And then, but other days, she's this non-existing. She does something that makes her a fake girlfriend for some clients. I'm not sure. But then there, there's this guy named Jack older brother of one of her favorite clients and i think he also might ruin elsie's job uh sounds like it really excited to read this one um and everyone's been loving ali hazelwood's books so really excited definitely reading this this summer then i went to the second and last one and i got four books so first book i got is be treated by emily henry guys and thank god the stickers are removable like look at this satisfying i love taking off the stickers so guys be sure it is actually a book that everyone's been obsessing about this is actually kind of like an old book well not really i think it got i think it came out last year some of you guys maybe don't but if you read then you most likely know emily henry and her books have been blowing up this year i was talking about it earlier in the car that i really wanted to find happy place by emily henry because that's like her newest release that came out this year and everyone's been obsessing about this book everyone's saying that it's so good and like it's the best book she's written yet and stuff but i couldn't find it so but i have been slowly collecting emily henry's books because everyone's just saying how great she is and i trust people so and people are saying like beach read is like one of her best books i actually own book lovers and me and you on vacation i actually have this book here because my mom actually got me it uh, a couple of days ago look at that love it i have the uk cover i really want the us one because the us one looks like this right now i have i think all of her books in the uk covers so i'm gonna start collecting her covers in the us or the us covers because i really want her us covers book book lovers and beach read they're like they're okay the one that i actually really love though is this one this one I think is the prettiest UK cover. So yeah, I am really excited to read this. Definitely gonna be making my own Emily Henry shrine. This has been a five star for so many people. So hope it will be for me too. And this is just the perfect book for summer. So yeah, this book is about January and Gus. She's a hopeless romantic who writes books, I think. Like, like they're both writers. January, I think writes like romance books, novels, while, while Gus writes literature. It's like they both have this writer block and they both need like best-selling books before summer ends so they swap um they swap each other's writing style so yeah sounds really interesting i mean it says here two writers one holiday a rom-com waiting to happen gonna be one of my first books i read this summer then i got a book from my favorite author lynn painter guys lynn freaking painter is my favorite author Better Than the Movies is my favorite book of her. Better Than the Movies is also my favorite book of all time. Like, no other book beats that, in my opinion. This is actually the first time I actually have a favorite author because I've always been really, like, indecisive and picky with authors, you know? But Lynn Painter, she does it. She's my favorite, will forever be my number one author. Anyways, enough simping. Um, I got Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter. I am so freaking excited. I've heard so many good things about this book. It sounds really good. Like, I mean, the cover, the cover of it. Oh, the cover. I love the cover. I love this, like, hot pink-ish vibes. The girl is wearing freaking Converse. Look at that. Lynn Painter knows Converse is the most attractive shoe you can ever wear. My opinion. 
Oh my god, and it's so soft. Like this block, it's so soft. Like look at that. It's so like I'm basically gonna have a shrine of her. I mean I wanna get like ten different copies of better than the movies. Hello. Guess where I am? I'm in my kitchen. Um, my footage or my storage space just ran out. So I got cut off, uh, but I'm back home and I could go outside film it. You know, I could just continue filming it outside, but I'm like, I don't want to. Uh, my mom's like, what are we going to save them? So I tomato. I think I talked about Beach Read. Okay, so we talked about Love Theoretical and Beach Read. And we were talking about Miss Lip Painter. So we're just going to get back at it. Back at talking about Lip Painter. I probably said that a hundred times before, but like, I love covers like these. I love when they're like cartoon people on them. Like, um... Like in this one, you know, the thing is with men painter books, her like most of them are young adult, but I think she's getting into writing also older books, you know, for older audience, but most of her are for young adult, you know, they're pretty easy to get through, um, at least better than the movies, it was just such a quick read, and I think this one will be the same too, 300, over 300 pages, you know, so. But there will definitely be a summer reading vlog, so stay tuned for that. I don't remember if I explained what this was about. If I didn't, I'm going to be doing this right now. So we revolve around this character, Olivia Marshall. I guess it's said that she has all these bad luck falling around her. Back to explaining to you guys what this book is about. Okay. So, as I was saying, this is about a girl named Olivia. Then she gets a text from a random number, uh, and that, like, turns her life upside down and then we have the guy character named colin um, he's always seen olivia as like one of his best friend's sister something like that he's never given a shit about her you know he's never taken any interest in her but then she suddenly like like grown up and turned into this cool hot new woman um and he's determined to keep his like distance but of course it isn't easy so and especially when he finds out she's the one he's been chatting with. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the fairy book I bought today. Anyways, I'm going to move on because I've been talking about this book for like 16 minutes. Gotta remove the sticker first. I actually got something that is not a romance. I got The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides Miklades. I don't know. Alex. This book is actually a thriller. Thriller, mystery, thriller, murder. It has murder in it. But this book has also been going really crazy on Book Talk and Book YouTube everywhere. I mean, I am a bit late because this was really popular like a couple of months ago. But as you know, uh, I only read romance books. Like romance or fantasy. Like mostly like fantasy than romance. I am actually trying to I'm trying to get out of my reading comfort zone, if that makes any sense. I have a hard- well, I don't have a hard time reading thrillers, but it's more like a, uh, I always need romance in a book, you know, or some fantasy stuff, action. Because I love watching, like, murder mystery movies or mystery murder stuff movies like that, you know, I love that, but I'm not very good at reading them. Many people have been reading The Silent Patient and saying they love it, so... I've heard nothing but good things about this book, so I saw it and was like, you know what? All of my books, all the books I bought today are romance, why not, like, get in a thriller? So this is about Alicia, and she had, she had this perfect life until uh, one day six years ago when she shot her husband five times in the head. Yeah, and she hasn't spoken ever since, so... It's time to find out why. Oh yeah, creepy. We will see how that goes. Here it says, only she knows what happened. Only I can make her speak. So really excited about this. So the last book is Between Us by Mari McFarlane. I have actually never heard of this before. <laughs> is actually a book that I just found myself. I mean, looks interesting, definitely a romance, you can see that. It says, some secrets are meant to be between us. First of all, gorgeous cover. I mean, like, look at that. Again, with the two cartoony characters. Yeah. So this book is a rom-com. 
It's a really long one though. It's like what, 500 pages? Oh no, 400. Yeah, I got this because, uh, first of all, the cover. I got this because of the cover and because it kind of reminds me of summer. Kind of the theme I went to with today was summer reads. Well, except for the silent patient. I don't know anything about this author or this book. So it will be really interesting. It says that our characters in this book is Joey and Royston. And they both like join their a group of friends for like a getaway, you know, a weekend trip. It's like a celebration trip. So they like celebrate a birthday, an engagement and Joe's launch uh, party because he, I think, acted in some kind of crime drama on TV. But then and Royston, she sees the secrets she shared with with Joe playing on the TV and she knows that something between them means nothing at all. Royce and she starts searching for clues for the truth and about her life and their history with the man she thought she loved and finds the most unexpected plot twists, you know. Among those same old friends, there's a surprising potential for new beginning. I don't really know what kind of trope this is though uh, it's a bit confusing but it's also the story about a friendship which revolves with grief and loss and happiness and everything and it's also a bit of comedy in here too so but yeah guys that concludes my haul which also means that i will try my best to not buy any more books this summer because i have over 50 books on my tbr over 50 unread books that i really want to get through this summer so yeah, subscribe if you want to see some of these books being read on filming. And if you just want to see some more of my content, feel free to like and subscribe. From now on, I will be trying my best to post every Sunday. My goal is to post a video every week. So every Sunday. This concludes my haul. really love actually how they all match. I am definitely, I am so excited for when I can do my like, um bookshelf video where i can like put my books in the bookshelf and oh, i'm so excited for that so stay tuned for that i am really happy with what i bought today um yeah four romance books and one thriller not bad not bad but yeah guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this little vlog hope you guys found some peace and happiness in it um just like i did well, it was really fun that you guys tagged along putting this these books in my room and hopefully getting to read them soon again hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching if you see to the end hi i love you so heart for you yeah i'm so excited to get to read all of these books um i know i'm just like showing them again <laughs> can't stop that was it for me guys i'm painter i love you bye